Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine these images to create a sports flyer. So without much ado, let's get started. So the canvas size that I'm using is a 16 by 19. And as you can see, I already have a color fill in there. Now, if you want to add a color fill, you go under adjustment and go to solid color and you can go ahead and choose whatever color you want. In this case, I want a gray. So I'm going to go ahead to click OK. So once you have your background, you want to go ahead and begin to bring in your images. So I'm going to go ahead and open my folder. Now you see that I have three images that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead to drag in these images. So I'm going to select all three holding down shift and I'm just going to drag and drop them and to accept, you need to double click so that the check on your image goes away. So now we have all three images. Now, the top one is going to be our main subject. So I'm going to click on the back one and turn off the visibility. And I'm going to do the same for the other one. Now this image, we are going to go ahead and scale it, make it big. And we're going to go ahead and set it right here. Now this sports um, player is actually Grant Hill and I just pulled a few images of him online and we are using it. So I'm going to double click to accept. Now we need to take off the background. So I'm going to first of all go ahead and zoom out a little, zoom in so we have the full picture like that. Now you want to click on your image and go under property and the property you see convert to layer. Now, if you don't see quick action, it means that you need to convert your image to layer before you can take off the background. You're right. So we're going to go ahead to click on convert layers and you want to click yes. Now, when you go back on the property, you will see quick action remove background. Now we want to go ahead and click on that. It convert our image to black and white. Now we don't want to use a destructive method. So we're going to add a black and white adjustment. So you want to click on your image, go to your adjustment, go to your adjustment and click on black and white. Now you see that a black and white has been applied and we want to clip it only to that image. So click on the little uh, clip icon right below and it clips it. Now we want to hide some portions of our subject. So the first thing we want to do is click on the thumbnail for our layer max, right click and then apply layer max. Now pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. You want to right click to bring up the brush options. Make sure you choose a soft brush. Hardness should be at zero and we can come out of this. You want to make sure that your cup locks is off on your keyboard so you can see your brush head. Now I'm using my left and right bracket to make my brush head bigger or smaller. Now I'm going to go ahead to just brush to hide some portion of our subject. So we have something more like this and this is good enough. We want to hide almost every part of our subject. So we have something like this. So now that we have our subject, we want to go ahead and turn on the other image. So I'm going to go ahead to click on that image. We are going to move our subject image and we are going to pull that down. So that is beneath. And we are also going to pull down the black and white adjustment, go back and clip it again. So the black and white is only applied to your background. Now we want to take off the background of our subject. So we're going to do the same. Click on your image, go to under property, convert your image to layers and go ahead and click on remove background. Now some images are complex, but this one we were able to take off the background very easily. 
So I'm going to set my that subject right here like that. And I'm going to make him a little bit bigger like this. And we're going to move the subject out like that. Now that we have this, we want to go ahead and turn on our second subject. So I'm going to pull the top image to the bottom so that we can see the top image. So now with our top image, we're going to do the same. So go under property, convert layer, say yes. Now we want to click on remove background and it does it for us. So we are going to move our subject and set him right there. And we are going to scale him down a little bit more. So he's like that. And I'm going to do double click to accept to move the subject in a little. So this is what we have in terms of the three images that we're using. Now we want to go ahead and bring in our background. So I'm going to go back to my folder and we are going to click on these two images and we are just going to drop them in double click to accept. Now we want to move this image to the background. So go into your layers panel, drag that image below your background subject. And we want to go ahead and scale him, scale this like that. So it fills up the entire, the entire background. So you have something more like this. Now we want to go ahead and change the blend mode. Now you can play with this to get the desired effect but i'm going to go ahead and do a linear burn so we have something more like this now this other image we are going to rotate and set that also very similar we're going to set that somewhere here but oops we need to move that to the bottom so we are just going to drag it and release it so it's underneath so it's on top of the concrete. Now we want to change the blend mode. So go under your blend mode option and we're going to change this to, so we're changing this to soft light and I'm going to go under filter and then choose filter gallery. Now we want to go, now we want to go under our artistic and you want to choose rough pastel and you just want to go ahead and play with the scale so you get a very rough sketch. So something like this is good and we're going to go ahead to click OK. So we have this rough background. Now I want to go ahead and erase some portion. So I'm going to go ahead to add a layer max so that I can hide the portion that I don't want. I'm going to pick my brush tool and I'm just going to just hide or blend in some areas so you still have the basketball sort of uh, background so we want to go ahead and add a black and white adjustment on our subject so click on your subject and click on your adjustment add a black and white we want to clip it so it's only on our subject now we want to click on the layer max for the hue the black and white adjustment now pick up your brush tool, reduce your brush head, and we are going to paint to just reveal, just reveal the attire and also the ball. So you can reduce your brush head, so you can just reveal. So now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing for the other subject. So go ahead, click on your subject, go to adjustment, black and white, and we are going to clip that. And once you have it clipped, go and repeat the same thing. Pick up your brush tool and only reveal um, the area. So we want to make sure that we have our black um, on and we are just going to paint to reveal only the attire of our subject and everything, the skin color of our subject, we're going to keep all of that black and white. So I'm going to reduce my brush head, flip my foreground to black. We all know that black hides white reveals. So we use the black when we want to hide 
and we use the color, we use the white when we want to reveal. So we have something like this. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for what we want to do. So with this all set, you want to go ahead and also paint and reveal the ball. So we have that. So now that we have this, we are going to go ahead to zoom in and we want to go ahead and add in some shapes. So go to your shape tool, pick up your rectangle shape, and we are going to draw a linear rectangle like that. Now you have to go under your property and click on the fill. We want to add in a fill. So click on the gradient. That's what we want and choose this blue. Now we want to make sure that the stroke is zero. So click on your rectangle check to take out the stroke color and we are going to go ahead to rotate our we're going to go ahead to rotate and set this shape right here in the corner something like this and we are going to go ahead to scale it down make it a little bit bigger and we're going to move it right there i'm going to zoom out so we can scale it a little make it a little bit bigger like that double click to accept so this is the shape now we want to go ahead and add one more so click on that shape hold down command j make a copy move that somewhere here double click to accept now it's on our subject so we want to move that layer in our layers panel and we want to set it beneath our subject so it's more like this and we are just going to drag this and move it all the way to the bottom like that and we are going to go ahead to shrink it a little make it smaller and set that right there and then you want to go into we have to rotate a little so it's on the same angle now we want to go ahead we are going to click on that gradient and you can play with the different options till you get what you desire and then we are going to create other slivers of the same um, shape so pick up your rectangular marquee tool and just go ahead and draw linear ones like that and then we are going to go ahead to click on the gradients that we want and we are going to go ahead to rotate it like that and we are going to move it and set that right there now you just have to rotate so that it lines up neatly and if it doesn't you just need to rotate it so you get it in the right place so once we have this i'm going to go ahead to make a copy command j make a copy I'm going to set that right in the middle like that and I'm going to change the color for this one. I'm going to go ahead to change the color. So this time we're just going to go ahead to choose a white. So we have something like this and our stroke is going to be empty. So if you come out, this is what we have. Now we can go ahead and just make a copy of this, Command J, make a copy, move that somewhere here. So we have slivers all around just like that now we need to move this so we can set that on the bottom so it's not on top of our subject but it's behind our subject like that uh, you need to move that all the way down so now that we have this i'm going to go ahead to move it out like that and then i'm going to go ahead and make another copy command j and this is going to go all the way up so once you have all your strips in place, all you need to do now is to go ahead and now bring in, which is going to be our lens flare. So with our lens flare, we are going to go ahead to rotate it like this, double click. Now we want to take off the black. So to take it off, you need to change the blend mode of that to screen. So once you change it to screen, you basically lose the black. Now we can go ahead to place these in different strategic locations so that we add a bit of a sparkle to our finished element. So make a duplicate, 
Command J, make a duplicate. You can move that and set that somewhere here like that. Now we need to maybe pick our eraser and go ahead and erase the little line that we see. And I'm going to go ahead to make another copy, Command J, and I'm going to move that and set that somewhere here. Command J, one more copy, and set that somewhere here. So you basically have a, a splash of the sparkle, Command J, so we have something like this. We are going to add his name. So I'm going to pick up my type tool, and I'm just going to go ahead to type in Grant. And I'm just going to set that right there. I'm going to go ahead to type his, his last name in. And I'm going to highlight and change that font to the breathing pers personnel. Now I'm going to move that and set that right here. And increase it like that. And then I'm going to double click. Make that white. We're going to make that white. I'm going to highlight and make these lowercase so that only his only the first initial is uppercase and I'm going to set that right there I'm gonna go ahead to increase it and move this name move his first name up and set this right there before we move on I want to go ahead and add a drop shadow so click on your text double click to bring up the layer style, go ahead and add a drop shadow. Now you can click on your drop shadow and you can play with it so that you get the desired effect. Go ahead and click OK. And basically you're done with your text. So once you have this, you want to go ahead and add a color lookup. Go to your adjustment, go ahead and click on color lookup. Now in your color lookup, there are so many options, but you can play with the different options to see what really works for you. So as you can see, I just applied a soft warm. You can try the teal. If that is too much, you can also try the intense. So these are all different options that you can play with till you get the desired effect. So this is the effect that I'm going with. So it's the fourth Fuji and it's F125. So you see that it gives you a very nice effect. I hope you enjoyed this Photoshop tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next tutorial.